I'm Clint Hardy. I'm the Davis County Extension Agent for Agriculture uh, in Davis County. And uh, we're on the, today we're on the farm of Jeff and John Rice on Nally Road out in Utica, Kentucky, uh, kind of between Utica and the Red Hill area. So uh, they're planting corn today. We just completed planting a corn plot, one of our uh, several corn variety test locations that we do across the county in multiple environments and, and planting conditions. What's unique about this field is it looks a little different than most fields you see that people are planting into. Jeff and John have adopted a very uh, proficient uh, cover crop practice on their farms. Um, they're planting into a mixture of cereal rye, crimson clover, Austrian winter peas, and canola. So that mix provides a green growing uh, cover on these fields year round. This will die out in a few weeks. It'll be sprayed and killed out and it'll die out and uh, that green corn will begin coming up behind it. Uh, when the corn's harvested this fall, this field will be planted in winter wheat. They'll harvest the field for wheat next spring or next summer, plant soybeans behind it and repeat the process. So it's a really unique cropping strategy. We don't see it widely adopted in the county. There's time constraints in the fall when this needs to be done. Uh, that is a conflict for some, but Jeff and John manage it very well and, and get the crop planted at the same time as their harvest activities. So uh, hats off to them. It's unique. What they're doing is really cool and really excited to have a plot in a, in a growing environment like this to see what it can do. April 24th, you know, we're uh, well into the planting window, but the planting window began earlier this year than normal. It was a very warm, dry March, as many people remember. Already had some t-shirts, short sleeves on in some of those last days of the month. People got out, took advantage of those conditions and planted probably five to 10% of our county in the last days and early days of, last days of March, first few days of April. Uh, temperatures really didn't decrease much after that, but we did have some rainfall that slowed activities down. Um, even as much as a couple of inches reported in some areas of the county last week, but this sun's come back out and dried things well and fast and put people back in the field. So if we stay on course, uh, by the end of the month of April, we'll be well over half planted in the county. Uh, very ahead of trend compared to the last couple of years when uh, the last two growing seasons, very little crop was planted before the end of April and first days of May. So we're off to a good start. The, oh, they had a lot of rain up farther east in the, in the Ohio River area. And uh, so we had some, some flooding events occur. It's kind of held up some of the uh, uh, planting in the river bottoms, which is typical for this time of year. Normally don't need to go down in those fields before the first of May. Uh, just because of the risk of flooding. But uh, in general, I think we're going to see more soybeans planted than corn this year in the county. The price of corn is lower, the cost of production is higher, and um, there's just not as much profitability in growing corn, especially on land that uh, is rented, than, than growing soybeans. So that's the big shift we'll see this year. And of course, the tobacco acres continue to decline. Um, the, a lot of dark air cured tobacco in the county, but those growers received a a, a reduction of the amount that they're allowed to grow this year and of course the burley acres continue to decrease as well so definitely moved away from a de tobacco dependent ag economy in our area.